Good morning and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Abby and in today's video we are going to Dean's Garden Centre. Um, Dean's Garden Centre is a garden centre in York which is amazing like so amazing. The unfortunate thing is they don't ship plants so they're only bought in their garden centre which I think is why their prices are um, lower than other people um they have two locations i don't know where the other one is apologies but it does say on the website um but i absolutely love dean's garden center i've bought many plants from there before um i've had a few quite a lot the first time that had pests but they were so amazing about it um like when i when I sent the videos of the pests like really crawling and stuff they there was just like no question about it it was like as soon as I got them home as well so um yeah they, they were just brilliant they were really good and I really appreciate that from a garden center so I've always returned uh, being a little bit more cautious um than I normally would be um but I know these things happen and they they really do look after the plants and they have the best like collection as well so they have like rare and uncommon plants um they've got a really good cactus selection um or cacti and succulent um loads of tropical plants um they did have and i'll I find out if i've still got a picture of it and put it on the screen because sometimes instagram deletes it but they had um variegated adansonii for 60 pounds which which is insane and i messaged him straight away being like is this plant still available please um because i wanted to literally just like drive up there and go get it because it's not far um it wasn't unfortunately they had other ones but i could see they were reverting so i didn't really fancy that um but yeah we're going to take a trip there today um it's half term i literally went to ikea yesterday so this video is literally being filmed the day after um, and I don't have any intention of buying anything. Um, I might buy a, um, a, a Syngonium, an Albo Syngonium, because they're my husband's favourite plant. And I've got one, it's literally just up here. I've got that one, um, but it produces really heavily white leaves, which die, so the plant is not growing. It's remained the same size for two years. So um, yeah, I might pick up something like that for him. Um, but other than that, it's just a day out for me, Magnus, because yeah, we have things to do. Like we, we, we want to be at the house. I want him to kind of like, I don't know. I really like getting him out rather than just like playing at home. Um, so yeah, let's go and see what they have. So it's one week later, actually. Um, we never came last week because we had an invitation to go for a really nice long walk with some mums in the village. Um, but we are here now and the timing is actually probably better because they have um they've just had a shipment in of house plants yesterday so they're fully stocked they have some amazing plants um if they have any left i know they keep them in cabinets now because people like like to steal which is absolutely mad um but they got some variegated repertoire tetrasperma in which is really cool the only uh, i say only they're 135 pounds um, which was 50 to 80 pound cheaper than another local garden center or um, a nursery um, in Leeds we're in York um, so it's the cheapest I've seen but I'm not interested I think they're amazing plants but I like it's, it's, they're like a one or two leaf cutting and I just feel like that really wouldn't satisfy me plus I expect more to come in the country at some point and the prices to come down similar to what happened with the CB blue um so I'll just keep an eye out for that I don't need to have it straight away it's you know I'm not bothered um I do want to buy a variegated syngonium because my husband loves them and mine doesn't grow because it just keeps giving me fully white leaves and obviously then they die off um but once Magnus wakes up we're going to go in and I will show you what Dean's Garden Centre have in stock so as you come in um you're kind of presented with instantly the rare house plants which is really great um but i started a little further away from the entrance just because i wanted to go the quieter way round. um but i noticed they had some really really beautiful plants off the offset um just kind of buried there as well like very very deep like i couldn't reach a lot but throughout this whole video i tried to show you the names and the prices of the plants um on the stickers 
Um, but yeah, there were a lot I couldn't reach. Um, so we're doing a lot of zooming in. Um, this Cebu Blue is amazing, but this Epi Premium, oh my goodness. I was absolutely gutted when I saw these thinking they're so expensive, £79. I am so gutted I've just bought a smaller version. Um, the leaf, oh my goodness, that, that leaf is bigger than like my whole plant that I have. Um, there's no denying that they're absolutely perfect. This was really cool, this Anthurium. I thought that was really, really beautiful. Um, quite unusual. I don't often see those. And really beautiful um, Philodendron. I really love this plant. And it says Easy Care, which it is not. So I put it back down, but I thought that was so beautiful. Um, obviously, all the alocasia are together. Um, that makes sense obviously. And then we come to the Syngonium albos. So these are the 2199 ones. Um, usually when I speak to um, deans via Instagram, I'm like, do you have this plant in? And they usually send me photos. Um, they kindly sent me photos of these um, a couple of weeks ago and they did look much smaller. So I was really, really happy with the size. I think there was like five plants in one, um, but lots more. Really loved. I used to have this plant it didn't survive. I really love this neon. Um, I think it's like a neon philodendron, but I forget the real name of it. And can we remember when these Calathea used to be hundreds of pounds and now they're like 19 pounds, I think that was. Also, this, this used to be a ridiculously rare house plant. You'll recognize the name because it's a, a number. Um, 30 pounds. <laughs> I can't believe it. I was like, how is this possible? These were smaller. Um, I did have a quick look over them, but I I'm back in that mindset that for an extra £10, I may as well get a much bigger plant. Um, they also didn't look as healthy. They still look good, but just not as healthy as the one in my hand. <laughs> I thought this was really strange. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And lots of begonia... I like that they have like all of the families together. So you've got the Hoyas coming up now. Um, rare Hoya as well, from my understanding anyway. So that's a less common Hoya. Um, probably I, all of these are more common now, obviously. But this one I used to have, it was bigger than this. That's 12 99 I paid for a one leaf cutting um, for, I think it was like 30 quid. I bought a larger one of these from Dean's last year and mine was £24. So it's gone up in price, which is, I've never seen them put the prices up. I assume it's because it's on the bamboo stake thinking about it. Loads of pretty pots. Um, these were quite expensive. Sorry, I imagine they were handmade or hand finished. Um, I love this brand. I forget the name of it. I'm not going to be able to pronounce it. Can I? Eloa? I don't know. Um, I really love them. They're really cool. These variegated monstera are beautiful. Now I have one from Plant Lovers, like a like a couple, four <laughs> large ones. Um, I'll never go back because I never bought el elsewhere anyway. But the Plant Lovers ones are much, 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 much bigger for cheaper. Um, these were just like a, a bed of color, so pretty. I love Happy Leaf. Ha love. But mine's not grown in four years. It's almost the same size as that. This was just unbelievable. Love, love this plant so much. How much was that one? 99, not too bad. I'm surprised with the, the price of this one. Um, I just thought that was stunning. It was 29.99. This is another one that I'm sure used to be in the hundreds. Um, obviously appreciating that we're in Dean's Garden Centre where they don't drop ship plants, meaning they're cheaper. Um, so yeah, they, they are cheaper than your, your average nursery. Um, oh my goodness. These are the ones that he sent me actually that I thought were reverting. You can see they've actually browned a lot more as well. So they probably aren't acclimatizing that great. But um, yeah, I do think they are reverting. They're really, really, really big plants though for £64. Like I, I literally paid that for a one leaf cutting that rotted um, in summer. So wow, this was really cool. Don't know what it is. Forgot to check.
wow oh my goodness <laughs> I zoom in on this because I'm like how much is this um it was I think it was like 299 my my eyes fail me um loved that ficus moonlight it's so big I think it's a moonlight or moonshine but I think it is that um it's kind of similar to mine with the heavily kind of like green chunks ring of fire um if I remember correctly this is so stunning and so beautiful but obviously it does look like it's yellowing a bit which I think is normal um I love this plant I'm not an agonema fan particularly but I love that one this is my friend Joe's favourite plant and I keep saying I'll buy him one and it was only 9 99 but he always forget. I used to love these, but I don't know. I find them quite hard. This is really beautiful. Oh, I see what they've done there. They put two silvery plants together. It's easy, super easy. These are your more common plants, like really beautiful, more common. Then you've got like those on the floor there. <laughs> uh, maybe they're going into clearance, I don't know. Again, more common plants, but plants that I, you know, still absolutely love. We've got most of these. That size is so great. I think it's uh, Miss Death. Was it five ninety nine? That can't be right. If that was right, I'm really regretting not picking that up. I would never buy these again in my life. <laughs> this was cool. I don't know why it's so large, but yeah, it's a cool plant steak. Um, I always thought these were really cool. I'm pretty sure my friend Lily has one um, from years ago, and I remember thinking it was cool then, because you don't often find Sansevieria um, brown, I don't think. Okay, so I had to check this. The price is $49.99. In Ikea, honestly... I the, that exact size I'm sure they were like 19 pounds um cute oh these are all the mini plants now by the way this was really cool it was like almost like a pick and mix I was so excited by these plants Magnus was like getting a bit like can we go now I'm bored so we did a really quick run over I didn't really look um oh yeah so these used to be hundreds as well like 150 pounds a year ago um now look at them they're not in the best condition um i mean like they don't look amazing but for 5.99 yeah also these if you don't want to you know well 12.99 actually that doesn't make any sense to buy that size i thought they were cheaper never really been tempted by those um but pretty i'm um telling Magnus now that he'll get a little um a non-refined sugar ginger little mini gingerbread man if he's um gonna wait for five more minutes that was really cute I love that this by the way the it was so busy so I'm so proud of myself for filming all of this I was so shy um but this is why I'm not talking beautiful 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 okay so they're 39.99 i'm pretty sure in the clearance they were like 50 quid half price this wow is it an admirium medium silver basically this in a much larger form when it's fenestrated has been the wishless plant forever um i've wanted it forever i can't pronounce the name of it but yeah I was checking them over seeing if I wanted any I wasn't sure I was a bit nervous if my husband was there and I had more time without feeling bad about dragging Magnus through a garden center when he really did not want to be there in the end um I would have had a really good look this is the cabinet that they lock so they they are the variegated raffidophora tetrasperma you see the tiny but they're really 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 beautiful Again, another plant, I'm saying this all the time through this video, this used to be so expensive and they're so cool. If they look better, one would be coming home to me because I've always thought they were the coolest. More sorry looking alocasia. This was really weird. It was like very, very silvery. I, I've never seen that before, I don't think. I love these. I Is it colocasia? yes i think so 
huge tie. Someone snapped it though, and the, the white or cream variegated part is like starting to die. That's so sad. An elbow in there, a, a, a tall elbow, but this was fun. <laughs> um, here we go. See, I was like, oh yeah, these will be cheap. If the small ones are like X price, they weren't. They were still £50. That one's looking sorry. Um, this is actually how buying from here. This section is how I bought thrips, spider mites, and mealybugs into my home all at the same time. So, never again. But I thought I'd show you what was there. Really, 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 really beautiful. Um, so beautiful and so impressive. Look at the size. Like, can you believe that? Like, I, I feel like this is more impressive now I'm looking over it for a second time. huge cb blue huge i didn't catch the price though these are massive as well these are silver dragons if you didn't know i had a syngonium like that and i gave it away it's the next day now um i am really proud of myself for coming away with one plant and a couple of accessories because the plants of deans were so so good and they had a very large mature variegated them, which I loved. I was so tempted by it. It was £70, which I thought was a really good price. Um, had I not just bought one from Grow Tropicals, but a much smaller size, I would have probably justified that. But I have literally just bought that plant in a smaller form. So we shall wait for that to grow. I don't think I will ever get it to grow that big though, but wow, they were nice. Um, but I'll show you what I picked up. I did only pick up one plant and it was a plant that I said that I wanted to pick up. So yay me. But it was this variegated syngonium. Um, I have one. Um, it's on the shelf behind me. I'll get it and I'll show you. Um, but I picked this up for my husband. He really, really likes my plant. Um, but like I said before, my plant isn't like growing because it just keeps giving me white leaves and they die. And then I cut it down. So it's like back to being a bit more green the stem and less variegated in hope that it will start giving me you know a bit more of a balance but mm, unfortunately it's not great but there's about um five plants in here like there's i counted them when i was there um i did a poll on instagram and everyone when i was there said number two my husband said he would have gone for number one which was interesting <laughs> but no he um the, the number one was much smaller and he does love this one it's got a new leaf coming through um here only just the tip of it coming out um a new growth point here um so yeah it's got lots of promise and it's not heavily white which i like and that's what he likes as well because at, at the end of the day this is his plan that i bought for him so just to quickly finish um i also picked up this pot which um i bought thinking it would go really nicely in that plant um so yeah this is what i bought this was two pound fifty um it's made from it i believe it's recycled plastic it's an eco pot but it's also made with wood so it's got like wood chips in there as well which i thought they'd be really nice it was a green one and a cream one um they didn't have the cream one in this size um but yeah i love green obviously so i'm really happy with that um they have some of the very well-known branded pots um but I don't know, I just, this is like a brand I've not heard of and I thought it was kind of cool. And then there was a few more things that I bought, but they're all like the same thing. So I bought really large moss poles, like the size of me. Um, <laughs> so my variegated monsteras are at the top of the moss poles. I gave them like, I would say I gave them a moss pole maybe about a, uh, a week, um, a month, maybe two months ago. And they've already kind of reached the top. So I'll show you what they look like. They look a bit aggressively large, but their plan is... That they grow up and into it um and when i was taking these and swapping the moss poles out i was thinking i need to do it now before the roots if they do kind of like stick to the cocoa qua um and some of them had kind of started really you know attaching to the fibers of the cocoa qua so i'm glad i did it like now rather than having to take them off and then change the moss pole because i find extensions fine but i prefer the stability or just a, a big one and I've never had this size before. Um, I'm really excited. They were 10.99, which I thought was like insane. 
and they're really chunky and they're not so compact so they're a bit fluffier for the roots to adhere to in that's what i think anyway um, but i'll show you those now so this is the plant the moss pole came to here before and it literally like the stem was like at the top so it literally it's super big um and then also did the same here so this one this was like over the top of the last moss pole the moss pole came to like here so this one goes all the way up to there this one needs it as well because that one's reaching the top you see um i obviously need to find another spot for this before i can do that um which is fine um this one it's okay this is a new pole as you probably saw it's got loads of space left because this this is a slower grower but it's more variegated um i'm not sure why so yeah there's that one as well which will stay like that for a while and the last thing we're going to show you is what i said earlier this is my variegated syngonium um so because there's more white than green on these leaves um like i said they do die it has given me a new leaf here um and it one side seems like it's fairly green but on the other side once it fills out you can see that's all white so it will be very similar to this one um which won't survive for long like it's really pretty i really like this plant but um yeah they they've gone from green to like producing really really white leaves um but yeah it's totally fine it's it's pretty as it is it's just crazy i've had this for like two and a half years maybe three years but that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed watching this give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe and i will see you next week Bye.